All right, I'm back again. Um, I am just, I have a day off, so I'm trying to kick out as many videos and stuff as I can. So if you're getting too many videos in your inbox because you've subscribed, just overlook them. Um, sort through them just in the days ahead when I have nothing coming through. Um, I just do what I can when I can. So anyway, I am going to be in New Creations Coloring Book Series, Color Mix, Coloring Mix. This is by Dr. T, um, Teresa L. Davis. And I am actually going to grab out my Marco Rafines and work on this one today. You know what, I'm not gonna write down the colors. I will try to say them as we go. I wanna work on this mask and I wanna work on how to make something look more gold just with using the colored pencils, not with using your actual gold. So in your lightest spot, you're going to use your lightest color. All right. And you're used to seeing me go dark to light, but you can go either way. So whatever feels comfortable for you. So I am going to just start in here. So I did a little bit. And now I'm going to do the next shade. Overlapping just a little. Yeah, I know, you want to go in closer. It worked last time, so let's try it again and see if it works this time. All right, come on. There we go, let's try it and see. So I'm taking each pencil. I started with 501, then I went to 502. Now I'm on 504. This is my yellow. And I'm just coming right into those other two colors that I did before, keeping it very soft, very soft. Okay, then I'm putting that one down, taking the next one. Now I got a more of a yellow ochre color. This is going to be 552. And it's going to come down next. And it's just going to blend in to that yellow that we just did. You see what I'm doing? Just some basic, simple little strokes. Just enough to go ahead and get that color blended in and on the paper. I'm not going to do this entire mask because I think you're going to kind of understand what we're doing. Um, then over here on this part, I would do the next darker. Let's go back and catch up, because I do want to do just little bits, just not the whole thing. Part of the reason is because it's not all going to be in here good. All right, so next I'm going to pick up another shade darker, 553. I'm going to pull this in a little bit. Okay, just adding it in. A little bit of a time. Just going in there. 556. Now this is a lot of pencils. I normally do not use near this many pencils. Okay. Just getting a little darker in here. I'm going to come in with 563, and I'm going to start on some of this in here. And you could do this in purples, pinks, greens, any Mardi Gras color, just anything that suits your fancy. I'm just going with the golds just as a practice. Um, if you go to her website, I believe she actually shows original photos so that you could actually blend along with that. And then I'm going to go to black, 570, and just really get some dark up here in these darkest areas because it's going to make the light areas look even lighter. Okay, I don't want to use it too much. I don't want to turn the page black. Now, do you see how 
we went from light to medium to a little darker medium. We never went fully dark. That's because it goes back to light again. So I'm going to use some of my colors a little bit in reverse here and go back to the light once again. And I kind of missed that. So I'm going in reverse. That was 553. Now I'm on 552. Just use pencils that work good for you. These just happen to be the ones that I've been using today. Okay, then into my yellow, that's 504. And see, it's got the shine here from where the light's hitting it this way, but then there's light hitting it this way too, so that's why there's a shine up on top. All right, back to 502. That last one was 504, so 502. I'm not using the white white up here because I want this front area to be brighter. Okay, if you needed to blend everything, you could do it with the white or you could do it with the other color that I just put down. But that's how easy that is, okay? Now I'm gonna come back in with my 553. And I'm just going to keep going around here some, and I'm going to lighten that up just a bit by going over it with this brown. Okay, I can come under here. And as long as that meets up over here, it's okay that I went so light. Now, if I want this little emblem to look like it's raised up, I am going to come back with a darker color and go right up under the edge. So I'm going to take my 556 and do here a little bit, lighter as I'm coming down. Same thing here, lighter as I'm coming down. Then I'm going to go to my 553, no, I've mixed my colors. Here, let me go to this one. 563, I'm gonna get a little bit darker right up to that edge. And then I'm gonna go back in with that black like I did before and just go right up next to it and just skinny it up. Now that should look like it's raised and popped up some. Okay, see how we got that done? Now it's not real hard to do. Again, it's keeping your lights in the light and the darks in the dark. See here the light has moved over to the side some. And I know some people don't. I'm just running through the colors again. 502 is what's next. I just did white. Some people don't like to color the white parts on grayscale, and you should never feel like you have to but I just like to color all the page and it's easier to blend if I'm blending into something, 504. And you're just gonna have to watch where your colors get lighter and darker. Cause see on this time with these, it's kind of mixed around. Sometimes it's lighter on one side and sometimes it's lighter on the other. Then to the yellow ochre color, 552. And again, you don't need to use near all this many colors. I'm just showing you how you can use a lot of color and how it's easier to blend when you use more. All right, 553. And here, I don't remember which one was lighter. I'm thinking this one was, so 553. And it's just going next to that other color I just used. Okay, now the 556. It's going right next to that last color. 
light, light touch. That's how I'm able to get this to blend so very quickly. Okay, that's what I'm doing when I'm off paper. Sorry, it's, it's kind of how it goes when I blow it up this big so that you can actually see everything. Turn it a little bit more. Okay, then the 563. This is my darker, what I'm using next to black. This really gets those shadows in there. Makes it a little crisper. I want to keep those shapes in there. And then I'm going to come back in with that black and get just that deepest corner. Okay, just that little bit, but look how it pops that line out. Okay, just really helps with the direction of that. Okay, does that help y'all? I hope so. Here, I'm going to zoom back out. Maybe. Wrong way. Right way. Come on, zoom again. I'm wanting it to zoom just a little in, just not as far. I'm telling you, there's such a learning curve to a new phone, and I've had this one for a while. Okay, do you see how it's looking gold, though? And it's just keeping those colors in the right places. Um, here, I can put in this 552. It's my next lightest. Overlap it. See how that's starting to look goldish? Now I'm going into my yellow, 504. Now I would go back to my 502 because it got darker again in here. And overlapping. Just blend all these together. Then I'm back to my next darkest, 553. I'm telling you, if you'll lay your pencils out, light to dark, you'll be able to pick them up and just scoot right along with your colors. Okay? I can come back in with this creamy color that was my base, 502, and I can just blend all this. I can use this as a blender, so I'm not taking color off I'm just using this to help move around what's there and to finish filling in all that tooth. Okay? Now, I don't know about y'all, but from where I'm sitting, this around here is really looking gold. Then I can come in here with all these feathers and add whatever bright colors I want. Um, let's go in here. Because I've memorized some of these colors, I know they're going to do okay together. I'm just grabbing some blues real quick. I'm not going to take the time to sharpen, but let's look at this one right here. This is my lightest. This is 532, and I'm just going to hit those light parts. Okay, just the lightest lights are going to get hit with that color. Okay, then I'm going to come in with my darkest. This is my 534, and I'm going to put this line in. And again, when you're actually coloring on your own page, you'll be able to see where the lines are on all this a whole lot easier than when I'm doing it. But um, yeah, I'm going to have this soften a little as I come out. Soften a little as I come out. I do still want that line in there though because it was in the original photo. It's actually that dead center spot. 
but I want to blend it out on one side. So I'll just slowly get lighter. Now I'm going to come in with my medium shade, which is my 535. Here's hoping I grabbed the right one. Yeah, I think I did. And I'm going to just circles into that other blue. My circles will help me blend. Now if you watched the last two videos, if it was flowers, leaves, things like that, you saw me use lines. It all depends on what we're coloring. Okay. Now this has a lot of tooth in it, so I'm going to come back in and add some more just to help blend all that in together. Just add more layers of color and that's going to help get rid of the gray that's on the book. That's the only problem with grayscale is some of that gray will keep popping through and you're just going to have to keep layering and layering. Okay? But see how that feather is? You could do these in purples, pinks, the blues, just, um, just an array of things. Okay? Masks are really bright. I like to do them bright and cheery. And again, just coming in and blending that color. Now, if I would sharpen this, which I'm going to this color, it will give me a point that can get down into some of that tooth of the paper. All right. Notice the difference right here all of a sudden? Because I did put a point on the pencil. Can you see a difference right there? All right, here we go. Hang on. <laughs> oh dear. All right, let's try that and see. See right here, I'm going to go over it again. Can you see where the color is starting to really make a difference and go on the paper? I might have you too close. But that versus this. See how there's a lot of white showing in here? And it's starting to go away down here. It's because I'm layering. And if I get it too light, I'm just going to come back in with that dark in a minute and deepen it up some. No big deal. Okay, so I'm going to come back in with my dark. And I'm going to deepen up that middle section where that line was. Just deepen it up. As long as there's still some tooth to that paper, I can still deepen it up and go right up next to that other one. Okay. Now when we come back out, you ready for this? I always feel like I'm going to make somebody sick, just all the movement of the camera. Okay, see the difference? When we go really wide lens, when I pull you all the way out. Okay, so I'm thinking teals, turquoises, fuchsia, purple, and then this whole thing done in the golds, and then do her face really nice. So, all right, well that gets you a basic on doing some gold. And again, I could have done that with just five pencils. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need your white. Okay, your basic white. You're going to need a yellow. And then I go back over it with my first color. Then you're going to need a yellow ochre, okay, that's more of a um, yellowish brown is your yellow ochre. Go back over it with the yellow because that's what's really going to blend. 
then come over it with a lighter brown. That brown's almost too dark. Okay, so be careful on your browns. Um, that one was 556. Yeah, the other colors don't matter as much. That, that one, if you want it specific. And I've got the color charts, the conversion charts that are on my Etsy. If you need to see if any of these colors transfer over to different pencils. This is my 563. So see, this is the darker now. And that blended really well. I don't even have to touch that up. And then if I need to at the very end, I can do black. But then when I go back over, I need to go over all that. And that was actually a brown there. Okay, going back over these and just blending as I come back down to the very first. In fact, I can go over all that with this. Okay, and then back to my yellow. And then the reason we still have that white on the very end is to help you fade that yellow out to nothing, just like when we faded it out up here. Okay, does that help? So that's how I do gold without using a real gold pencil because when you use those gold pencils, to me personally, it tends to make everything look flat. Even if you do get that shimmer, I'd rather take the time to do this to where it looks rounded or it looks like it's fading and it's got some highlights. All right? Okay, so have fun. And again, this book has lots of... Um, glass pieces if you want to work on metals and glass baubles, um, water. Yeah, I already did a review on this. So um, just lots of glass and reflective items in this one. So if you need to practice on that, it's good. And she's got the color photos on her um, website. Okay. So you can pick this up off Amazon. Yeah, see even this is in the, uh, the glass. And I would go through and probably do these in all different colors just to practice my blending. But that's just me. All right, have fun, and I will see you all in a little bit.